What do you get when you combine beautiful art, a purposeful voice, and unlimited ambition? A creator like no other. Meet Lo Harris, illustrator, educator, activist, and one of the most interesting people on the internet. In this episode, we're going to learn how Lo works with the world's biggest brand while staying true to her voice and never holding back. As a child, Lo always loved digital art, but she couldn't afford the latest tools or software to grow her passion. She studied journalism in college and soon joined a major network as a news animator. But working in the news in 2020 took a toll on Lo. 2020 was a really difficult year. It was an incredibly difficult year. And after the death of George Floyd, I decided to turn to art as a way to heal myself and as a way to cope with what was happening in the world. I wanted to create things that brought some sense of joy and justice and inclusion at a time when things were really rough. At first, she couldn't decide what her style or her subjects should be. So she created vision boards of her favorite colors, textures, and images. Once she was ready, she created an Instagram. So I chose the name Lo instead of my actual name, Lauren, because I wanted it to be a safe space for my art. And for Black History Month, I decided to do a series called 29 Queens about inspirational black women posting one every day. From there, Lo's art took off and more people started to see themselves in her colorful work. Her posts started showing up on stories and news feeds around the world. That's when Lo realized that she needed to decide where she was heading. I didn't really want to put the pressure on myself to go through the trouble of creating a content calendar and selling my art as prints by myself out of my home, but I did know that I wanted to do commission work for brands. So I figured the next logical step was to create a great website. And that's exactly what she did. Lo set up her website to introduce brands and potential partners to the Lo Harris universe. My website is my portfolio. It shows potential clients what I can do, what my style is, what I stand for, and how we could potentially work together. And if someone searches for illustrators in New York, I wanna be visible on that list. I want my website to be present, even if a person can't really find me on social media. And it worked. Lo has created illustrations for children's books, major brands, and even the United Nations. But she's just getting started. I wanna travel the world with my art. I wanna see unconventional places. I wanna do a TED talk. Honestly, the sky is the limit for me. And that's why Lo believes creators should never hold back. So here's my advice. First, focus on yourself. Don't compare your work or your style to anybody else. Second, I'm gonna need you to find your tribe. Some of my biggest supporters are people I have never even met in real life. Your community in real life and online matters. And finally, don't put yourself in a box. Don't close yourself off to any opportunities. You never know where they could go. In two short years, Lo Harris has proved that being a successful creator starts with believing in yourself. Your background, your voice, your message, and your style have a place on the internet. And like Lo says, give yourself permission to write your own script. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.